Hi guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of February reading for you all. February 1st through the 15th reading for Aries. How are you all today? I am doing great. I hope you guys are too. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. I want this one. I've already meditated on the cards, you all, just so you're aware, before I start the video. This does take me a minute, so please be patient with me, okay? Try to hurry. But I also want to give you the right cards, so... All right, let's see what we got. The Five of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Six of Swords. The High Priestess. Seven of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. You're clarifying the Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Hope you guys can see those okay. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Four of emotion. There are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you aren't noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing upon you. Look around you. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity, as long as you act upon your dreams. This kind of makes me feel like this high priestess a little bit, you all. Seeing clearly. It's time to view things from a different perspective. You have the blessed gift to see the past current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry. The pause and momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. Hmm. Give me just a minute, okay? See these cards in different ways. I see relationships. I could see some of you either traveling or moving somewhere. I could see some of you uh, with new jobs or new opportunities career-wise. Promotions possibly. Something that you're growing on your own maybe. But I think it all wraps around choices. Hold on. Some of you guys might be um, emotional, emotionally or financially worried. Sometimes when I get this Five of Pentacles, it's something maybe from your past that you're kind of looking back on or you're worried about your finances or you're worried about your family members or um, sometimes it's things you can't control but I have a feeling 
especially with this Seven of Cups. You know, when I get this Seven of Cups, it makes me feel like you're going to have choices to make. Choices regarding this relationship, possibly. Choices regarding that new um, business opportunity, possibly. Choices regarding traveling. Messages coming in. Could be love messages. Some of you guys might be dating online. You may have met someone online. It might not be a romantic partner. It could be someone that you're dealing with overseas or communicating long distance. When I get the Six of Swords, especially today, I feel like some of you guys are traveling or you're wanting to travel or you may be traveling. You may be going to the beach or on a cruise or flying overseas. You may be going to meet someone. You may be moving in with someone, especially with these with this ro uh, romantic feelings and this wedding over here. Makes me feel like some of you guys are in this brand new relationship. So when I get the Ace of Cups, you know it's always a new beginning and a new chapter in your life. This can mean a brand spanking new relationship for some of you guys, and you're in this romantic feeling uh, situation. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. You're crazy about this person and they're crazy about you. And then for some of you, with this wedding card, it can mean you've been in a relationship for a while. You're moving on to the next steps in your relationship. You might be moving in together. You might be getting engaged. You might be getting married. This wedding card can also mean you might meet someone at a wedding. Or... You want to get married. Some of you guys are getting married. Or moving in. Or traveling with that person. So for some of you, this is regarding your uh, romance especially with this Ace of Cups. This is your emotions flowing over. This is your love and your uh, giddiness and your um, happiness regarding a new relationship or even falling back in love with someone that you've been in a relationship for, with for a while. This is a good card. It just makes you feel happy in one way or another. And if it's not a romantic relationship, it could be regarding your career. A promotion, a leadership promotion with the Six of Wands. Victory, success, leadership. So some of you, if you're looking for a new um, career or a new job or promotion or even your own business opportunity like this Three of Wands makes me feel, it might be coming. You might be growing it right now. You might have these great ideas and you're actually st they're starting to come to life. You could be growing in other ways, maturing in other ways. It could be business related. It could be different ways of part of your life that's maturing and growing. back down to the Seven of Cups because I'm not quite done talking about it yet. When I get the Seven of Cups, you know, it makes me feel like you might have more than one choice. Whether it be which house do I move to, what job do I take, what business should I go with, what career, what um, person, what roman romantic opportunity. It could be should I move to a different country or a different state. So there's something about the Seven of Cups that makes me feel like that there's going to be a choice for you that might take a minute or a week. <laughs> I know that's a big difference, right? <laughs> it might take a week or so for you to figure out which choice you want, which choice you should take. It's an important decision, but what happens is this poor guy's sitting here and sitting here and sitting here, and that's all you can think about. Which way should I go? What should I do? Which choice should I make? 
and it wears you out after a while. It drains your energy. It exhausts you without even moving. So my suggestion is the faster you can make this choice or this decision, the more energy you'll get back, the happier you'll be. And honest to goodness, you all, when I get this high priestess right beside it, excuse me, <clears throat> sorry, it makes me feel like you're going to make the right choice. You're going to make the right decision. Your gut and your instincts and your intuition is guiding you. This is an intu intuition card too. So when I get this high priestess, I feel like if you'll open up to this, if you'll realize that your intuition and your gut and your inner guidance will point you in the right direction, and if you'll go with it, you'll make the right choices for yourself. Because basically what happens when I get this High Priestess card, this is how I feel in my mind anyway, I feel like you're going to be guided the right way. If you'll listen to it, that is. So you know how everybody says, go with your gut, go with your instincts, go with your... That's what they're talking about. But it's going to be stronger for you all right now. And when you do go with your gut and you start realizing that those are the right choices for you, you're going to feel wonderful. You're going to feel more powerful. You're going to feel like you have more energy and more strength. And you just, it's a great feeling because you're going to know the right choices to make. This is not even going to be an issue if you'll allow your gut to tell you which way to go. And then I have the Queen of Cups. Cups are water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sweetheart. Very sweet lady. She's mature. She's kind and caring and loving and giving. She could be your mother. Could be you and your energy today and your emotions. She's very emotional. But she's also very um, soothing and loving and wants to help everybody. She has the biggest heart in the world. So this could be someone that you're dealing with, whether it's male or female. This could be the person that you're falling in love with. This could be the person that's a mother, father figure to you, or a good friend of yours, or someone related. But it could also be you, and your energy, and your intuition, guiding you the right way, and your emotions. Hold on. Trying to see if there's anything else I need to say before I rearrange them. Honestly, you all, everything's going to, mm, I feel like everything's going to work out for you. Especially if you're going through this, which choice should I make? What cup should I go with? Which path should I take? And you'll open up to this. It'll guide you the right way. If you'll allow it to, that is. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. Those are straight. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this here and I'm going to put this here. This is how I feel. Here's the thing, you all. Even if you um, start out the beginning of the month like this, whether it be emotional or financial worries or what should I do, which way should I go, especially with this choice card. Should I move here? Should I take this job? Should I, you know, do this? Should I move in with this person? That kind of thing. You're going to do the right thing for yourself. I really do believe that. 
And then I get the Seven of Cups, which is the choices. But you are going to make the right choice. And the faster you can make it, the faster you'll get your energy back and you'll be yourself again. Because this is just wearing you out. It's exhausting you. It's all you can do is sit around and think and think and think and think. Don't even move and you're exhausted. Because I believe that a, a swift message might be coming in and it could be a message of love. That's why I say that some of you guys might be dealing with a romantic partner online or overseas. You may be going to visit this person or going on vacation with them or even moving in with them. But maybe you're going to get a message that's um, going to tell you which way to go, just like with this high priestess intuition because when I get the queen of cups you know cups are water signs cancer Scorpio Pisces sweetheart loving lady wants to help everybody but she's highly intuitive you could be dealing with a water sign whether it's male or female or this could be your energy your emotions your maturity your intuition your sweetness and kindness coming out motherly And I do believe with this high priestess, if you'll open up to it, if you'll go with your gut and go with your instincts and actually believe that, the, that it's, it's giving you the right answers and go with it, I think everything else is a piece of cake. I think everything else is going to fall into place for you. With this three of wands, this is like you um, realizing how great you are. You're, you're waiting for something, well, it's already starting to happen. Something is actually starting to flourish for you. Whether this is a new job or a promotion like this may be, or a new business opportunity, or this new relationship. It's coming to life. Especially with the Six of Wands. This can definitely meet a promotion or a new job opportunity, new leadership promotion, or um, some kind of um, business you might be opening for yourself. Victory, success. And then I get this Ace of Cups, which tickles me for you all. This is a love. This is your emotions flowing over. This could be a brand new relationship like this one says, like you're crazy about somebody and they're crazy about you. Or this is someone that you're moving on to the next steps, whether you guys are getting moving in together, you guys might be saying I love you for the first time, you might be getting married or engaged, or you're rekindling your old relationship. If you've been married for years and years, you might be getting remarried. Renewing your vows. Falling back in love. Because with this Six of Swords, you're moving forward. And there's smooth sailing ahead. You're not looking back. You're tickled. Some of you guys are going on vacation or flying overseas or going to the water somehow, some way. But some of you guys are just moving forward in your life. You may be visiting with someone. You may be going on vacation. You may be moving in with someone. I'm tickled for you. I really am. I think these are great cards. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Now some of you, a handful, might be getting married or eventually getting married to this person. But some of you guys might meet someone at a wedding or some of you guys are just thinking, I want to get married. I want to be with someone. They might be coming into your life, you all. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. If you are in a relationship, or you might be getting into one very soon, they like you as much as you like them. Four of emotion. There are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you aren't noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing upon you. Look around you. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you act upon your dreams. That's what I mean about this high priestess, about your gut, and your instincts, and your intuition. Sometimes you do need to just sit back and think about it, you know? Figure out what you need to do and what, how you need to go. But you do want to make yourself happy. And you will. Seeing clearly, it's time to view things from a different perspective.
You have the blessed gift of see, of, to see the past, current situation, and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry. The pause and momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. If you are stuck right at this moment, it won't be long. Things will work out. Things are going to change for you quickly. So that's how I feel about this. You might be stuck trying to make this choice. But you're going to make it and it's going to be the right choice for you. I really do believe that. And for some of you with this new relationship, good for you. You might be traveling or going to see this person or even moving in with them. And for some of you, you might be getting a promotion or some kind of a leadership um, title or even your own business. So this is a great reading, you all. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. This is your first of February reading, February 1st through the 15th reading for Aries. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.